Shalom, we'll praise the Zia, I will Ba'ashem, I will share, Ba'ashem, I will call Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great most on the rule well, and Shalom to the whole full let. It's Paya of the GMS, this is Paya Allah of G, the GMS London camp. And this is Romans 12, I'm going to read verse 1 and 2. So it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So I'm going to read it through again and break it down. So it says, um, I beseech you therefore, brethren, and what brethren is being spoken to in this case, being those of the nation of Israel, which will today, the 12 tribes will be being mainly in Babylon the Great, which is the land of America, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but also those that are scattered all over the earth. For example, you have um, little sentries over in Ireland, in um, Italy, and then in different places in Europe, India, um, the Middle East, the land of Ham, Africa, all right, so Japan, Asia, China. So you, you'll find, but the, the common thing that links all of those that are, that are mentioned is that they're of the kin, the kinship of, of Israel, all right, the descendants of the Israelites. By the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah, and how do you present your body a living sacrifice for this for this faith, for this work? When you go out on the highways and byways and teach, that's a sacrifice. You gotta be instant in season, out of season. That that actually has a bearing on your on your body, all right? So that's you making a live your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the most high, which is your reasonable service. Yeah, because as as it said, um, escapes me who said it. Um, but we are unprofitable servants because we did all that we ought to do. Basically, this is just as an Israelite. This is just something everyone should be doing. When you read the book of every Israelite should be doing. Okay, that only pertains to the elect on this side. When you read the book of Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter, it tells you about the whole duty of of, of man basically being to serve the heavenly Father. All right. So it says, verse 2, be and be not conformed to this world. All right, why, why not be conformed to this world? Because as it tells you in Job 9 and 24, it tells you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. And Yahweh also spoke of it in the book of John. He said, like, um, the world hate me for, for I testify against it. All right. So there's no reason for us to be conformed to this world. But goes on to say, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that's why we have the word. The word is basically to renew our minds. It's to stir up uh, um, stir up our pure minds, you know, put us into remembrance even though we once knew these things. And that's the renewing, bringing us back onto the Heavenly Father, all right, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly, know, ignorant, who the world ignorantly knows as Jesus all right, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And normally this is all being done for the will of the Heavenly Father. And as you read, if you go back a few chapters in the book of Romans, the ninth chapter, it tells you that that happened with Pharaoh as well. Pharaoh was risen up for one reason and one reason only, to show the Heavenly Father's glory. Right, and we are to walk in accordance with his will and do all these great works in this faith by teaching um, um, and learning and basically, you know, bringing um, a return on the talent that's been given to us. So with that, I pray you're edified.